Oh, Periscope! We review ABC's action drama, Last Resort. Hatfields and McCoy's 2012 cable TV viewing record is broken. And FCC's very first target of breaking its new open internet rules is... Plus, Comedy Central takes very funny aim at Fox News and CNN. Stand by for the TV news. This is the TVnews.tv, brought to you by CTAM Summit and CTAM Insights. One location, two conferences, one price to access both. For registration and information, visit CTAMConferences.com. Welcome to the TVnews.tv. I'm Jeff Grimshaw in Washington, D.C. It's Thursday, September 20th, 2012, and we lead with our review of ABC's mega drama thriller, Last Resort. Here now is Susan Hibben. Jeff, when I got the assignment to review ABC's sub run -amuck drama, Last Resort, I was like, I kind of hate this waterlogged naval affair. But after seeing the premiere episode, I can only salute it. Tense, compelling, and breathless. And that was just the first 15 minutes. I will be re-upping for future episodes for a few reasons. First and foremost, it's the best looking co-ed subcrew ever assembled. Second, the storyline, albeit fantastic, is tightly woven. The only potential problem for Last Resort is that it may very well suffer from what we call 1978 Battlestar Galactica Syndrome. And that's an insurmountable problem wherein the pilot is so darn good that the rest of the series cannot possibly measure up. So I'll let you know if the series sinks or swims after a few more episodes. I'm Susan Hippen, and I'll be available beginning next Wednesday here at the TVnews.tv. Well, thanks, Susan, and anchors away. Now, the 2012 cable TV viewing record held to date by history's Hatfield and McCoy's, well, it's been smashed, courtesy of Broncos Falcons Monday Night Football game on ESPN which drew 15.5 million viewers. Well, history, at least you still hold the non-sports cable TV viewing record for 2012. The FCC, it's locked and loaded on their first open internet rule breaker, and that allegedly is AT&T. Now, the complaint is that AT&T is blocking FaceTime video chatting because the app is negatively affecting revenues with AT&T's voice and data services. AT&T is reportedly terming any FCC action in this matter as, quote, knee-jerk and a rush to judgment, unquote. And finally, you know, only Comedy Central can get away with skewering its competition for the upcoming election coverage. Have a funny look at how Comedy Central is coming at both Fox News and CNN. Fox News says it's America's 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 choice. If Fox is so American, why is it owned by an Australian? Can we really trust a British prison colony to cover our election? Turn to Comedy Central's Indecision 2012 for your election coverage. We may be owned by a corporation, but it's an American corporation. John King is over at the Magic Wall. CNN uses a magic wall for their election coverage. <gasps> the Magic Wall. But if that wall really is magic, then they would be witches. We don't call it the Magic Wall for nothing. Would you trust your news to a witch? Turn to Comedy Central's Indecision Coverage. You can trust us on election night, unlike some news networks. Hey, if you haven't yet seen our exclusive white paper, The New World of New Media, we've got a direct link set up for you on the front page at the tvnews.tv. And we very much encourage you to enjoy it. Available Friday, our exclusive two minute TV tarot will tell you if Fox's The Mindy Project will be a hit or miss. Now, if you wanna be a sponsor of the TV news, just like our good friends at CTAM, we would love to have you on board. To get started, just shoot us an email at advertise at the tvnews.tv. And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. We thank you very much for watching, and as always, go out and make it a good day. 
been such an honor to work on planning the CTAM Summit with my partner Ed Carroll. The theme is all about today's evolving digital media ecosystem and also a very multi-generational, multi-platform, multicultural world. The media ecosystem is changing rapidly in terms of the different platforms available for consumers and how they digest the content. Everyone will participate, everyone will learn. If we can use the conference to understand the platforms and the content and to build a, a better and cleaner environment, then we can help the consumer navigate through what is increasingly a complex territory. You'll be able to take away nuggets for your work every day. Plus, you'll have a lot of fun by just seeing all of our wonderful colleagues in beautiful, sunny Orlando, Florida.